Bye, guys. This is Amelia Clark here. Um, I am... <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, I am here to talk about COVID and being in isolation during COVID crisis. So um, I'm joining you from my isolation booth. Um, and I, uh, the girls just wanted to, wanted me to have a little chat about art more than anything and what it is that I'm kind of doing to keep myself sane in this really, really tricky time. And, um, there's a number of different things that I'm doing. Um, and, uh, a lot of it is focused around reading and cooking and um, I'm lucky enough to have um, a production company so I've got lots of stuff that I can continue getting on with. As an actor who's self-employed um, this is an experience that I'm familiar with in terms of like having a lot of time at home. <laughs> um, so, uh, so that's something I'm able to lean into but I must say that the things that are really really helping me is um, is getting lost in things that aren't on the screen. Do you know what I mean? So where possible, finding moments of time, pockets of time to be able to read and to be able to write. It's not very good writing, but it is writing and it's able to like get the thoughts that are in my head out, which is really good. Um, I'm just look at, this is like the first time I've ever done this, guys, so I'm really learning. I'm just trying to learn how I do this Instagram live thing. Um, I'm very lucky that I have a dog. Um, I am abiding by the guidelines as much as I possibly can. Well, in the ways that we all can. So I did my my two weekly shop today. So that was interesting and frightening. Um, but more than anything, I think when you're in a space that you can't leave, um, trying to make that as comfortable as possible for you and whatever that means. So when you physically can't leave a space, I find that if you're able to engage your brain with regards to reading, listening to music, using your hands, making things, cooking, even if it's just doing what I did today, which was giving my office a sort out, you know, like sorting through things. I know this is all stuff that you guys probably all know, but you've got a podcast playing or you've got music that's relaxing or that's fun and that makes you want to get up and move and dance and mentally escape the confines of the place that you're in. That, for me, like literature and... Um, beautiful stories being read on audiobooks and you know when it comes to screen stuff looking online and looking at art um my I'm very fortunate to have my best mates an artist so I get to just um enjoy a lot of his work and and I and I feel for a moment outside of the physical space in which I'm in and I feel kind of you know as if I'm somewhere else and um, I also find one of the other really big things that really helps is poetry, because poetry, more than anything, a spoken word, all of it, it's just, they are encapsulating all the feelings that we're feeling, especially when they're scary feelings, and especially when they're frightening thoughts, and trying to make sense of them ourselves. When you read a poem that taps into something that you think, that you find to be familiar, that I think just makes you feel less alone in this and um so there's a there's a there's a lot of poetry that I'm reading as well which is really helping I like reading it out loud because I'm an actor and a show off <laughs> and I really like reading out loud and my dog really likes it as well I should I should I be reading these do you guys have any questions <laughs> um and um, I'm just right now trying to trying to see some of the very gorgeous comments. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm really touched. Um, the other thing, Rick, cooking. OK, so I I I have been largely living my life, um, you know, getting soups and sort of pretend cooking. You know, when you take something out of a packet and then you take another thing out of a packet and you put it on a plate and you're like, 
that's cooking. That's cooking. Well, seeing as that is not a possibility for us, I'm using it as a as an opportunity to um, put the radio on, grab a glass of something delicious, be it tea or kombucha or something else, um, and uh, getting a recipe book out and just seeing what I have in my cupboard and trying to make sense of it and trying to see if maybe I can... And some of the meals have been completely revolting. Ted really enjoyed those. Um, and some of them have been really nice, but I can't tell you, you feel such a boost when you've made something, even if it's really simple. It's it's some kind of a, you know, a grasp on this situation that's very calming and very stabilizing. Um, and I know this is a funny thing to say, seeing as I'm on social media right now, but I really, really limit my amount of time on social media. Um, I like to look at the things that bring me joy only. So that's women I admire, people I admire, um, uh, less news, which I allow myself to have in the beginning of the day and at the end of the day for a short amount of time, lest you get a bit overburdened with the amount of new information that's coming out all of the time. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and limit the social media as much as possible, just because you know how sometimes you can lose a day on this incredible thing that's, that, that we're relying on to connect to each other, which is beautiful. Um, but it can really, it can really hike up the anxiety levels for me personally. I don't know if that's something that you guys feel as well. Um, and, and when you do that, I find that the space in which we're confined in is, you know, it's it feels safer. So using social media to contact your loved ones is incredibly important at this time. Using your phone to contact your loved ones is incredibly important at this time. And aren't we lucky to have technology now that is enabling us to connect with each other? And that is really important and it's really relevant. I've got lots of friends, we are all checking in on each other. My family, I'm checking in on my family, all of those things. But to have kind of allocated times throughout the day to do that, so you're not just only doing that, because I think it can really burn your brain out a little bit. Um, and make sure that you're taking moments, moments, they could even just be two minutes to breathe <laughs> and to, you know, handle something that, that brings you joy, calmness, or whack up the drum and bass hip-hop, gospel, opera, classical, um, any of, I mean, any of the, any kind of music that just brings a little, a little movement to your soul, I think really, really, really helps. Because no one's, no one's looking, so you can, you could take all your clothes off and have a dance, if that's possible. Um, uh, you know, in many people's houses you're you're living with a lot of people which you normally would have the ability to open the door and <laughs> go for a lovely walk which we are all able to do once a day which is glorious and we're very lucky to have that especially in england now the weather is just incredible um which makes it very difficult looking at it through the window um but finding finding a small space for yourself and taking a few minutes i think is really really important um, and, uh, the other things that I really think are important to consider, especially for me, is that with my charity, Same You, um, since this has happened, we've been trying to come up with ideas as to how to help our beloved NHS and to how to help health workers and key workers the world over. And um, so we're working away on a couple of things that I'll be announcing later on this week, um, which is really exciting. But I am really enjoying spending that time thinking about how the many ways in which we can help other people, which is another really. It just makes you feel, you know, like you're able to try and grab a hold of this situation that is so difficult for so many people and um and do something that is benefiting as many people as possible um and that can be what you guys probably already know which is finding out vulnerable people in your area 
and um, when you're going on that once a day walk, popping a note under their door and, and with your number or your email address and, and seeing if they might need anything or want anything, or if it's friends that you know who have mental health difficulties, um, checking in on them, really checking in on them. Like one of my mates, I'm going to do a thing for him tomorrow because he's a bit in the dumps with this entire situation. So we're going to cook together and we're basically, I'm going to get him and we're going to open our cupboards and see what we have and we're going to make something together and then we're going to eat together. Um, so just, yeah, trying to connect to as many people as possible in this time is incredibly important, but it's also really important to connect to yourself because I believe I'm probably not the only person who's been going a million miles an hour before this happened. And um, being forced to take a moment and be quiet and still is really difficult, but really um, empowering if, um, yeah, if you're, if you're doing it to yourself with kindness, which I think is also really, really, really important. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a few of my, um, that's a few of my, my, um, musings from, from my isolation. I don't know if any of that's been of any help, um, uh, or if anything, just seeing someone live breathing the same air at the same time as the people who were lovely and writing lovely comments now, hopefully that's helped. Um, but yeah, have a boogie if at all possible. Um, and, um, remembering to breathe <laughs> and remembering to read. Um, so yeah, that's just a little thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna s sign off for now, but, um, I hope you guys, I'm sending you guys so much love <laughs> down these airwaves. Um, and I'm really, really hoping that as many people as possible are able to feel safe in this time of just complete fear. Um, but the good news is, is that our environment, Venice canals are clear and, and holding on to those things that we're doing that's, that's beautiful for the planet. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. I'm rambling far too much, but thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, it's very exciting. I'm very, very honoured and privileged to be here. And um, yes, wishing you all well. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.